In today's video, I'm going to try eight Asian snacks that I got from the local Asian store and I found them very interesting. I just wanted to give them a try and see what I think about it. So to accompany everything, I will drink peach tea. It's peach and oolong tea. I like the packaging. It's like, it's very pretty and it has the drawings. It looks like kind of like hand drawings and I hardly see it these days, to be honest. So I do find it very cool the way they packaged it. The color, honestly, as expected, this is in a bottle, so the bottle is not actually colored. So the color is just like kind of peachish. So like very diluted tea, if that makes sense by the way it looks. I don't know, it looks very light. It smells very peachy. I mean, it tastes very, it tastes like peach, but not too strong. So it's just very, very lightly peach flavored that I can taste, which is nice. I'm used to uh, like, other teas that would have like stronger taste, kind of like Lipton, that one when you buy it and it tastes like peach, it actually does taste very strongly like peach. I'll just put it away for now. And with everything we are going to have today, rice, that will be like kind of like a main meal. This is what it looks like. And this rice has a braised pork flavor. That's what it says in the packaging. So I'm going to go and un pack it now. Under the lid we have a few packets actually. It's not just one, it's quite a few. I thought honestly, I thought it would not have packets, I thought it would be just kind of like dry rice and maybe some spices on top and you just kind of pour hot water and it makes it instead of what I'm seeing. Inside we got, I'm assuming this is rice, because this is the biggest packet that's inside, so there has to be rice. And, oh my god, it comes with like a fork spoon. So that thing that is a fork, but also is a spoon that you get to eat with, which is, honestly, I did not expect that it would come with anything. I just thought it's going to be, like, most things that don't give you anything, like chopsticks or anything. What else is inside? Let's see. Some packet that's silver color, and it's like liquidy inside? It feels liquidy, I don't know what's in it, probably like some sauce they put on after it. Then you have the oil, by the way it looks. And some spices, so that's gonna be like a seasoning maybe. I don't know if both of them are seasonings or not. And they all have like the same guy from the packaging that's, that's in the box as well. They're like the same branding, it's so cute. I actually never seen it before when I would unpack. You would not have like three same pictures everywhere. I find it very cute. And inside is the indicators for the water. So inside I'll first put the rice in. I'm assuming that's the right order. Honestly I'm not really sure because all the instructions and everything is not in English. I don't particularly understand. But this is what the rice looking like. It's like very small grains. Honestly it's like smaller than normal rice. I have never seen this before. This is so weird. Then next I'll put this packet in. This is the spices. Oh, this is a like greens and stuff. That's cool. So that looks like this. It says in the packaging, rice will make in like eight minutes or so. So meanwhile, I'll just try other things. The next I'm going to go for is salted baked duck wings. It says that there's two inside of the packaging. So I'm assuming, at least it says two servings. So I'm assuming it's going to be two actually inside of the packaging. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. Honestly, I'm very curious, but I know that they tend to like packing everything in individual packages so yes so there is two of the, something that looks like drumsticks kind of it's yeah if i flip the picture this is what it looks like in a picture so i'll keep this package in here and this is the salted baked duck wings that we have i'll just unpack it and probably put it on a plate i want to know what it tastes like i'm honestly very curious i have never tried like ready packed meat like cook, oh that sound, that smells very, I don't know, I know what it smells like. It smells like lemon chicken or something. It smells really weird, honestly I did not expect it would smell like this. I thought it would smell like more like chicken, not sure. There. Looks like an actual drumstick, I will try it. Honestly I'm very suspicious because of the scent, I don't know. But it also looks like it has like oil coated on it or something. I'm not sure. It 
it tastes very dry. Like, very dry, but it's, like, nicely spiced. It's hard to explain. It's, uh, it, it, it has, like, a dead jelly texture. I'm assuming this is, like, a marinade or something on it that they coated the chicken in while they were cooking it. Not cooking, like, preserving it. Honestly, it tastes very nice. Yeah, it's very good. Honestly, I like it. I think it would go very good with rice. Let's check if the rice is ready. Okay, this is actually cooked very nice. It's like, it's a lot of rice now. It's, it's surprising. It's so... It smells good already. And it only has, like, vegetables in it. And that's all. So I need to put oils in now. Oils and flavors. This is supposed to be the braised pork flavor this one is just like like a dark sauce that kind of has like barbecue color i guess it's like a reddish the next is the oil i think it might be sesame oil because in most of the noodles that they sell it generally comes sesame oil i'll just pour it in and see what it tastes like what to say i never poured oil and rice and i find it a bit weird i don't know if that's a normal thing to do or not but i guess it, it, i guess you gotta i'll stir it in and see what it looks like it's already coloring and like and coating in a very nice sauce. Oh, oh my god, this is nice. This is so good. It will go so well with the duck wing. It's not really right. It's not really a wing. Honestly, it looks like a chicken leg or duck leg. It doesn't look like a wing. I don't know why they're calling it a wing. On the packaging, it looks like a drumstick. But the rice is so good. I would so honestly, I would so buy this. Outside of this video for sure and. A few of them at least. A very creamy texture and it tastes very meaty. It tastes very meaty and tiny bit oniony, I guess. I don't know, I like it. It's so good. That's what it looks like close up. It has, it's not spicy at all and it has a bit of like, oh, it's like barbecue pork kind of flavor. So yeah, it's like one of these things where it says that it tastes like braised pork and it literally tastes like it. It's like, it's so nice. It's like if you go into those. I don't know, Asian restaurants that do pork on rice, this is similar taste to it. It has like very similar taste to it. This is just rice on its own. So it would go so good with any sort of meat in my opinion. The next product that I will open up will be jellyfish. It comes in a set with oil, I believe. At least, at least it feels like there's more than one packet. So there's gotta be something else in it. I'm not sure. Let me check. Let me open this up and have a look what's inside of this packaging. It doesn't smell like anything yet, so yeah, it comes with some dark sauce. Maybe it could, it could be like a flavoring of some sort, I'm not sure. And this is our jellyfish. It's like swimming in some sort of liquid. But it says in the packaging to drain the liquid before consuming it, and then mix it with the spice itself. Just do that very quickly. I have drained the water from this thing. I think it was water. I don't know, it was something that they were keeping the jellyfish in. It kind of looks... You can't really see it well, so I'll just put it in a bowl. And I still gotta mix it with the spices or whatever I came with, like oils, by the way it looks. That is what it looks like. It kind of has like the clear yellowish look. Yellowish color. And it has like absolutely no smell at all. Like, like no smell at all. So I can't really even imagine what's it gonna be like. I will put the sauce, I don't know, it has like little greens in it as well, I think. Or maybe peppers or something, let me see. Let's put the sauce in and see. Uh, that, that is red, actually, that's a red sauce. Is it spicy? I don't know, it doesn't say on it. It has like little chilies in the picture. That could be little chilies that's in it. I don't know, it, it, it stirs very easily, but I don't still don't understand what is it. Is it oil or what is this? It just has like, it just has these chili flakes in it that you can see in here. There. Yeah. So it has like, I, I do think it's chili, but I'm not sure if it's spicy or not. That's the jellyfish on the fork right now. This is what it looks like. I don't really know, it, honestly. It looks like it would be crunchy, kind of. But the crunchy, not like in a crispy way, crunchy like in a weird jelly way. I don't know. I mean, it looks like a jelly. It's a jellyfish, so I would assume it would be something like that. Okay. I think it was like sweet chili or something. This is weirdly nice. It has that. 
it has that crunch to it. It's hard to explain, but it's like you, it's definitely savory food rather than sweet. But it has that sweet aftertaste. So I do think it's sweet chili because it's a bit spicy. It's a bit spicy, it's a bit sweet. And the texture to it, I would honestly say it's not for everyone. Not everybody will like this, but I personally would get this. I personally do like this. And I think it would go very well with rice, not so much with noodles, because I don't really know how you're going to eat something like this with noodles, to be honest. Next item that we're going to try is uh, scallops. These are... These are fresh scallops, it says in it, but garlic flavor, it says at the back. Garlic flavor, fresh scallops. I don't know how they're going to be fresh if they're packaged in this thing, so I'm assuming it's like preserved of some, in some way. Also, have a sip of my tea. Honestly, in the comparison to this food, this tea tastes so bland. It's like this food is so overpowering, the flavors of it are so overpowering that, that this tea tastes like not powerful enough. Let's open this up and see what's in the packaging. I'm assuming it's going to be individual packages. It doesn't say that, no. It just says average quantity per serving. It says, uh, it doesn't say anything, it's just a blank. And it says it's 90 grams in a pack. I don't know how many it will be for 90 grams. Maybe a couple, I would honestly say three or four. Three or four maximum, in my opinion. Oh, there's actually, there's actually quite a few inside. Wait, what is this? One, two three four five six we get six of them they don't come with the shell by the way it feels it's like very soft but i wonder if it's gonna look the same as on this picture or not because it comes with like beads of i don't know beads of chili or something i want to see if this is what it's gonna look like when you open it up oh it has like a little picture actually over the garlic on the, um on the front i didn't see because i was checking at the back to see the flavor but i did not see there's a little picture on the front Let's open this up and see. Dude, that smells very strongly of garlic and it has some sauce looking texture. I don't know, it doesn't, it does not look like, I don't know what it looks like. I don't know what it looks like, but it does not look like scallop. Um, that looks very mushy. That looks like tuna. What if it's tuna that sold the scallop, honestly? I would never differentiate if somebody gave this to me. It smells very strongly like garlic, like lemon garlic, I would say. Rather than just like regular garlic, like lemon garlic. Uh, this is what it looks like. It looks very, I don't know, not really sure about this one. I honestly had high expectations about this because it's supposed to be a scallop, but... Oh, I don't know, the texture throws me off big time. Is it? Why does it taste like mushroom? It actually tastes like mushroom and it has very similar taste to the chicken that I just had. And it looks like it's been like chopped in pieces or something because it falls apart very easily. So I think it might have been chopped up with mushrooms or something. There are different things here. This is definitely a scallop because you can see like the outline of the shell and everything. Not the shell itself, but like where it normally lies in it. Where it normally lies in it. But there is... It's definitely mushroom. It tastes like mushroom so strongly. It's so... It's honestly good. I don't want to seem like I like everything, but I do like everything. So far, I have been liking everything. And the fact that... And the fact that it comes with more than one in a packet. The fact that it comes with... I mean, I would expect it would be more than one. But it came with like six. And normally... Like with chicken drumsticks. With duck, duck drumsticks, it was just two. So I honestly expected that it would be two or something. Actually, yeah, at the back, when I look at it, at the back, there's a picture of mushroom, but it doesn't really say that there will be any other flavor. Like, on the picture in here, it's just garlic, so I don't really know. And the ingredients that say it's just garlic flavor. I'm not really sure. So there might be, for what I know, there might be a mushroom on the inside. The next thing that I will try will be hot and sour lemon braised chicken feet flavor lice. This is, I think, the weirdest I have found so far in a store. I don't know what... I don't know what's it gonna even taste like because I have never tried myself lemon braised chicken feet but I think it's gonna taste like probably that thing that I just had like the duck wing maybe I don't know I am not really sure let's open this up it smells spicy it smells spicy and lemony it smells like spicy lemon but it looks very good they look very like colored I will taste one. I'll find like medium small one. There. That's what it looks. It's just like standard lace. Honestly, whoever tried lace is just a standard shape. 
But the flavor is weird. I don't know. The flavor, the scent is weird so far. It's just like lemon. It's like eating lemon chips. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> the spice kicks in. Okay, so when you put it in your mouth, the first one, that like at the start, you don't taste it at all, but it suddenly it just tastes very spicy. It's like, it's not spicy, it's like hot. I wouldn't say it's like very, very spicy, but I would say on a scale of one to 10, that could be a three, two to three, but it's like a weird spice. It's like you don't taste it and then it's there. I don't know. Do I taste chicken? Not at all. It's like lemon, spicy lemon chips. But it says there's supposed to be a chicken in it. Oh, look, chicken in it. But I can't picture it as a chicken. And it says chicken. But it's like spicy lemon. They're good though. They're very good. Would I buy this? Most definitely, yes. But if I had like spare coins to spend on it. Because it's like the flavor is nice. But it's not what it says what it is. I and mean, I would prefer it more if it tasted like chicken more, I would say. But I think like the spice kills off the chicken flavor. If that makes sense. The next thing that I got is double filling mochis. I've tried previously like standard mochis, but these are double filling, so I don't really know. And they were also not in the um, fridge section or anything. They were like in a warm produce section, like next to snacks, next to cookies and stuff. And this is supposed to be uh, banana milk. Okay, banana milk flavor. Banana milk flavor. They look very good so far. I don't know how many there are in the park, so I'll just uh, open and have a look. And these are made in Taiwan as well, it says. There is inside like a tray that you're pulling out and there's six on it. Six mochis, double filling mochis, six of them. Let's open this up and taste it. Okay, so I have opened this up. This is what they look like, same as with the packaging in. And they kind of have the cold feeling to them. I don't know. They just feel cold. They're like not out of the ch uh, chiller or anything, but they like do feel cold. That's weird. Let me try this. Mmm. It has a cream inside. And banana flavoring on the outside, but it doesn't really taste like cream. It just tastes like banana. It doesn't taste like milk or anything. It just... Uh, I don't know. I feel like the feeling is not enough here, to be honest. I expected, I expected more of them. They kind of feel softer than regular mochis, and the taste. This is very underwhelming. It's not powerful enough, and it's just. I don't know. It's just like no much of it. it. Smells very good though. It smells like a very strong banana scent. But would I buy them? Probably not. Honestly, I'll finish this one. It's nice, but yeah, I probably wouldn't because the taste is kind of like underwhelming. I don't know. Like, it's okay. Like, it's okay, but it's not great, if that makes sense. And the last item that we have is the brown sugar pearl milk ice bar. That's the name of it. So I'm assuming it's thick, like, like a bubble tea, but in an ice block. I don't know. I find it personally weird. I never tried this. I don't even know how they're going to freeze it, considering that it has, like, tapioca balls. So I'm not really sure how they're going to freeze and what texture it's going to be. But it says ice bar, so I think it's going to be very... When I think about... Bubble tea, I think about something creamy, but this is an ice bar, so it's not going to be creamy, so I don't, I don't know. Maybe they'll make ice bar creamy somehow. No idea. No clue. Let's try. There comes four in a pack, and it has like a very pretty packaging. Look. Look, 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 look. This looks nice. It just looks so pretty. I don't know, I'm just used to ice creams looking very plain with like white packaging inside or something. But it has basically the same picture, it's just like smaller. Same picture as on the box, just smaller. I'll open this up and give this a go, give this a try. I don't know, I'm not honestly a huge fan of the ice bars, I prefer like standard ice creams. But the ice bars concept is a bit... Not for me, I guess, I don't know, but I want to give this a go. Wait, this is a like creamy. Is it creamy? Does not actually. Oh my god. What? Oh my god, what? I just chewed on the tapioca bowl. This is weird, man. This is like so weird. It tastes so strongly like coffee for some reason. And the tapioca balls are so chewy, you can like actually see them here. That is so cool. 
That is like so cool because I thought it's just gonna be like a block block, but it's not. It's not, it's like soft. I'm assuming because of them. I wonder if they go throughout. I think they're just kind of like on the top, but in here, on the side, you can see that there's one towards the bottom. But oh my god, this ice cream is great. Like actually great, I say in a minute. I would to totally buy like 10 out of 10, would definitely recommend. So good, so amazing. I just, it's unexpectedly good. Was underwhelmed until I tried it, honestly. I would definitely recommend this to everyone. This ice cream tasted kind of like a bit burned caramel, coffee, milky. It's so nice. It's a combination of everything I like, honestly, put together. Plus it has that texture of the tapioca, which I did not. I don't know how I feel about this. It's just like so unexpectedly good. It's weird. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. And I hope to see you next time.